What's up YouTube, it's your boy Barcode. I'm back with another video. See what I did there? This video is gonna showcase what I did to get 4,500 as free to play. The main reason I'm posting this video is a lot of followers of mine want to see what I did and what I used to get 4,500 as free to play. I'm gonna talk about my team comp, I'm gonna talk about my runes, I'm gonna talk about the hero stones or skill stones that I have. I'm also gonna showcase a match as well. If you like the content, you know what to do. Hit that sub button, hit the like button, and hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's get to it. Currently I'm ranked 500 14 in the world as free to play alexander Lager eight this is the team comp i run currently the only real problems i have right now at 4500 is dot teams which aren't very many and also just teams that out level me in card level on my way to this point i was using more cleanses and things like that so i faced a lot more dot teams back then but higher up now i don't face as many sometimes i will get a sierra perna beretta type of comp but it's very few this team comp pretty much consists of killing the front line as fast as possible and also stalling so that the enemy team does not get to my back line in the first spot i have chloe chloe is my leftover spot your first and fourth spot on your team should be the tankiest people on your team. I run Chloe here for two reasons. Chloe's base stats are the highest stats that I have left over after I want my original team. I'm running her on energy currently and the only time I use her skill before she dies is if they run some really quick AoE team really early in a match. I bust out the invincibility and I'm good after that. I run her own energy and ranked because this is the best runes that I have left over. If this was arena or world tournament, I would run her own guard. In the second spot, I got my boy Resvelg. Resvelg, whatever. Currently for ranked, I have him on fatal because I have some pretty decent runes that are tanky. But in arena or world tournament, I would run him on rage. I'm currently trying to craft some good range runes for him so I can use rage and ranked. Why range, you ask? Depending on what cards are randomized in the beginning of the match, if I can pull a Kuhn Freeze and then a Resvelg, I'm just gonna call him Frey. If I pull a Frey after the Coon, if I hit a frozen target, it automatically crits. His damage is based off the enemy HP, so he benefits more from crit damage than he does attack. But Frey is pretty tanky regardless, and he can do some serious damage and some setup for my Lapis or Rakan. Third spot, I got my girl Colleen. I run Colleen on energy because she does more heal when she has higher HP. She has roughly 6,200 health, heals for about 550 to 600. She's also pretty tanky as well in the third spot. It's pretty hard to get past her unless you have some single target damage dealer. And in the fourth spot, I have my man Coon. He is my highest level card because I request him every single day. I'm running one on guard because he has high base defense. When I'm able to level up his runes, he's going to have over 500 defense. I run my most tankiest person in the fourth spot in this comp for a couple reasons. One, Coon has a self defense buff and immunity buff. And then when the cards are given to me right, I then use Reflection Shield so I can stall the enemy to get to my back line. Or if I don't have Reflection Shield up, I then use Vitality Conversion. Vitality Conversion is very hard to counter, so you can actually get that off before the enemy uses a skill, or you can use it as a counter. Sometimes I even use it in the middle of a damage dealer's attack. For example, Sophia. Sophia will do five hits. If I time it right and Sophia goes, she'll hit two or three times, and then I hit Vitality Conversion, so that'll make my health be a little bit lower, and then I go ahead and Vitality Conversion and get more health taken away from the enemy and brought to me. In the fifth spot, I have Shannon. I'm running her on Swift so I can get that one mana cost defense buff and attack buff in the beginning of the match early. I have her in that fifth spot so after Colleen uses her attack buff, I can keep refreshing with Shannon to keep that attack buff stacked on my team without it falling off so I can keep it at a level three. I need that level three attack buff mainly for Lapis and Kali. My boy Rakan, he's only level nine, but I gave him the best energy runes that I had. Look at those stats, it's almost 50% crit, 162 crit damage, 5500 HP, and some decent attack on some energy runes. I used to put Rakan in the front line right before Kuhn, but I started putting him back to face Prey Lee comps. Prey Lee is a really high meta right now, and if he's back there and Prey Lee is attacking me and spamming her defense break, I pretty much spam Rakan. I'll have the immunity, and he just spams and spams and gets the attack 3 buff and keeps immunity the whole time. 
Usually after about the second Rakan AoE, Praylee is dead, especially if he crits. In the seventh spot, definitely my best card that I have and best hero stone is Lapis. I have her own Fatal, the best Fatal runes that I have. I still can't pull a Fatal Legendary top rune. Still need to work on some substats in the Fatal Runes, obviously, not too high crit, but she's my definite focus. Last but not least is Kali in the 8th spot. Kali is here for two reasons. One for the heal block, and one to counter Jen at the end of the match. Yes, it's Jen. We did a whole Google translation on this woman. I'm running Kali on Swift, because my Swift Legendary Runes actually beat any of the Fatal sets that I have. And I have the Green Stone, which is probably the best stone for Kali. If she crits, she pretty much kills anybody in one shot. The heal block is crucial for high level Ramagos, Kamun, Jen. Sometimes depending on how I feel that day or if I'm losing or winning or whatever the case may be, I'll bring in Kamun for Kali. Kamun there for the heal block and obviously he's a little bit more tanky so AoE teams can't kill him as easy as Kali. I don't have great runes on him but I'm running in on energy but most of the time I do run Kali instead of Kamun. The only thing I left out so far is my last spell. Currently I'm running Blood Curtain. Sometimes I roll Soul Clan sometimes I run weakness found it really just depends on how I'm feeling typically I like weakness found a little bit more but to run weakness found properly you need to apply more debuffs so that they soul cleanse something else other than your weakness found so I'm running blood curtain for two different reasons you never know what you're gonna face on the other side whether it's gonna be a dot comp whether it's gonna be a Lucian comp whether it's gonna be a prelude comp or even lapis you just never know so for me blood curtain is probably the same safest bet because you can shield dots, you can shield Praylee, you can shield Lapis and Lapis won't get a shield, and you can shield against Lucian. There's a couple different combos that I use as well. I'll kind of go monster specific on this. Like I said, Chloe is there just to be a frontline tank and to pretty much die. With Frey, there's multiple ways I use him. It really just depends on what you start out the match with and the cards that are dealt to you randomly. If I have the option to Frey, and then Lapis, I will do that. That'll give Lapis big damage on the branding too. Now, if I can conserve my mana and do Hray, and then Kuhn, and then Lapis, that's an automatic crit on a branding two monster. If Lapis is nowhere to be found in my hand, sometimes I'll use Kuhn first so that the enemies are frozen, and then I'll do Hray, which does really big damage depending on if the front line is super tanky. I've seen up to 2,500 on an automatic crit. I've even done Hray and Rakan. Rakan can do some really big damage after the update. Colleen, I usually use Colleen in a specific way. I don't use Colleen aggressively ever just to get an attack buff, it's silly. I use Colleen as a counter. Whenever they throw up a Lucian or whatever they throw up a Lapis or whatever they throw up a Praylee or whatever, I will wait and conserve my mana let them do damage, but I'll counter on the Colleen to heal half or even all that damage back up. And then I have an attack buff, and then I can set up my team. Shannon is the one that keeps refreshing the defense and attack buff after that point. I can keep level 3 attack buff pretty much the whole fight until Shannon's dead. And usually at that point, it doesn't matter. Like I talked about Kuhn in different videos, Kuhn is amazing. Whenever I have Kuhn in my hand and I have a setup in my hand like Lapis or Hooray or Rakan or whatever the case may be, I will conserve my mana, let the enemy use a skill, I will then freeze and then follow that up with my damage dealer. Like I talked about with the spells, if he gets low, I'll either vitality conversion if I have that in my hand, or I'll do reflective shield if I have that in my hand. Shannon, I use her pretty much on cooldown, but before I use her, I try to look at my attack buff to see where the duration is left. And if they're not casting spells, I'm not gonna cast it early because if I wait to like the last second to refresh my attack buff, I'm conserving mana at the same time, and then I can follow up with whatever I need to after the fact. Now with Rakan, sometimes I don't use him till the end of the fight. Sometimes I use him early. It just depends on what is given to me in my hand in the beginning of the match. But Rakan is there to pretty much any Sophia comps, any Praylee comps, and if that's the case, I spam him at the end. Lapis, I just do what she does best, nuke. I make sure she always has an attack buff on hand, and I always try to follow up after a 
spray branding or in a coon freeze. The thing with Lapis and why I bring coon and Rakan is if there's an enemy Soha, you always have to follow up after a coon and Rakan. Kun and Rakan give more buffs than Lapis would ever have. So if you use one of them before Lapis, Soha will steal their buffs and won't steal Lapis's shield. And like I talked about Kali, Kali's there to nuke those wind or fire units so I can move on to the next line. Usually the people in the fourth spot. All right, here we go. So he's probably going to try to get a Poseidon off. I'm going to just go ahead and freeze it so I don't get that. Pretty decent damage as well. So let's go ahead and do this. We're just waiting. We're just waiting and waiting and waiting. That's fine. Not much damage here. I'm gonna copper. I'm gonna Colleen that. I'm gonna throw ahead. Wait to put this defense buff until on a counter. There we go. I'll go ahead and use Lapis. Do some damage here. I'm gonna use Kali, level three attack buff. Defense buff don't matter if Kali, you're dead. Okay, I'm gonna wait here until that defense buff hopefully falls off. Okay. I'm gonna freeze this and then I'm gonna throw Recon on that for some crits. It's got defense buff though. So that kind of hurt. Alright, he's going to commune me. I'm going to try to heal the rest of my team and get the attack buff up to three before she dies. Okay. Let's go ahead and wait this out here. Hopefully kill Kamoon. Nope, that's fine. I'm going to do Reflective Shield. So that he doesn't die with that. And I'm also going to do Vitality Conversion. So now he won't die and spread Chain of Despair. Defense buff. Alright. Moon's almost dead. Moon is dead. Okay. Let's shield. And freeze. Oh, we broke. His blood shield breaks the freeze. I forgot. That should kill him. It does. Okay, that coon is still living. He's still living. He's still living. There is a lot of shield back there with the blood curtain. I'm going to keep up the defense buff and the attack buff. They don't have a single target damage dealer to get through to my back line. Let's kill her before she uses her buffs. Refresh this again. Let's kill Prey Lee. And now it's a little bit too late. I'm going to use Blood Shield on hers, so she doesn't get any shield. Yep. And I'm going to hopefully nuke that, and GG. This is another version of my team comp that I run. I switch between the two just how I'm feeling. In this comp, I run Prey Lee instead of Rakan. I also run Royd instead of Chloe in that first spot, just in case to do a Prey Lee, Hrasfeld, and Lapis kind of combo. And then just to be tankier, I run Kamun for the heal block in the back with Rakan's runes, which makes him super strong. Vitality Conversion, Divine Protection, and Soul Cleanse is what I run on this comp. I need to do big damage really quick. Let's get uh, Rustveld. Little branding. He's going to hit me with dots. Lapis resisted, which is good. I'm going to wait till one tick goes off so I can Colleen this. There we go. Okay, he's going to Perna me. He got two flames off, which is fine. I'm going to wait here for a second to do Kamun so Soha can't 
can't freeze me. I mean, it can't steal my buffs. I'm going to get a quick attack buff here. He stole my defense buff. That's fine. The freeze is still up. I'm going to crit on those two. Which is good. Still didn't get soul cleanse. I got vitality conversion first. Which is whatever. I'm going to get a I'm going to get a heal for Kamoon and someone else. There we go. Let's get this attack buff up real quick. He's going to purn me again, get some more flames up, which sucks. Let's uh, do this first, so he can't fruit steal my buff. Oh, that's not good actually. I don't want to. I don't. Even, I don't want to use that yet. Okay, I got soul cleanse here, and doesn't really help. But at least I'll get some mana back. Okay, my lapis and my coon are still good. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, he got Blood Curtain off. Okay. I'm going to do Prey Lee to get the armor break. She freezes. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and freeze again. Hopefully he doesn't kill my Lapis. Or stun. That sucks. Let's see if I can uh, do something here. I'm going to wait. I'm going to Vitality Conversion that. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait a little bit. I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I should be good. Yeah, I should be good. He's got to frame me, so I got Invincibility. I'm just going to wait for that. And it should be GG. Invincibility. Okay, I'm just going to pray Lee to get the armor break. There we go. And then I'll just wait the counter. And that's a GG. Ooh, that's a Sierra comp, boys and girls. That's a Sierra comp. Those are two comps that I run back and forth, depending on my win-loss ratio in the last couple of games. It's been working out pretty well for me. You gotta test different ways and see what's best for you and your cards. If you like the content, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.